Next question is from Marco Arcega. What are the top 10 essentials for building a home gym? Oh, Damn, 10? Yeah. I don't even know if I have 10 in my Yeah, house. I don't know if I have 10. But <laughs> we should, I think we should PRX list some of the essentials. And we're done. Let's make the list here. Squat yeah. rack, we all agree. Yeah, yeah. I, the barbell, dumbbell, squat rack, adjustable bench. Well, I think you're done. That was too fast there. I know. Yeah, you got, would you say barbell? <laughs> barbell, dumbbells, adjustable dumbbells, okay. or so multiple dumbbells. Plates obviously go in with the barbell. I would assume that yeah, counts yeah. as your 10 essentials, right? Yeah. Or it comes in there. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, flat bench, incline bench, adjustable bench. Yeah, you need right? both. Yeah, so, so, so a bench that you can adjust, so, yeah, you right? Can so you adjust. can do incline or flat. Uh, you said barbells already, plates, dumbbells, plates. I mean, if, I mean, if I'm going to add to that, I mean, maybe a easy curl, easy curl bar. I mean, you don't you just name my garage gym that I've been working trap out trap bar. That's yeah, how, I've been working out like that for the last fifteen years. I don't even have the easy curl bar. I literally have a barbell, yeah, plates, bar. dumbbells. Would you say a hard curl bar? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Easy, hard yeah. curl, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not easy, man. I mean, I, I would say this though to start. If somebody actually asked me this in person, I would say, all right, number one, what form of exercise do you enjoy the most? Because we have to start with that, right? Mm -hmm. You're most likely to be consistent. Like if you like suspension trainers and that's your favorite way to work out, then that's going to be. Number one on your essential. That's crucial for me. Well, to, to me, to that's okay. So I have a suspension trainer that's under, it's $100 or what is ours? 97 bucks or some shit, right? So it's under $100. You can have that piece of equipment and that can hang in there. That could be one of your 10 easily. Yes. Yeah. So I, I think and that rubber bands that should, yeah, that, should yeah. complement almost any gym because even if you're not a big uh, suspension train, uh, training like training that much the, i think the priming aspect of it and uh -huh. you know rehab stuff and the like low intensity i think doing that it from and i'll be no the brand. weird one i gotta have a mace bell and i gotta have uh you know a kettlebell like at least a, a pair of kettlebells if i have to limit it to like two uh it's got to be at least like 255 pounds so i could at least do a little bit of damage yeah, and since they said 10 you could throw a sled in there and then you're pretty much done yeah but you know Pete, it's funny because there's all always this home gym, you know, home gym equipment being sold and the newest, latest, greatest piece of equipment. But it's it's honestly, literally, if you if you got a squat rack that was you know stable, I mean, PRX is I think one of the best, and it folds into the wall. The barbell, the dumbbells, adjustable bench. You're the vast majority of people that I could possibly train for most people's goals. You're done. Yeah, yeah. and by the way, and I think we're answering it this way because it says essential because I don't think we think there's 10 essential things uh, for exactly. lifting weights. If you said, what are your 10 favorite pieces of equipment in there? Mm -hmm. We could probably list off some things like Viking Press and then we'd probably sure. add some things that we really like now that I, that might go in that 10. But man, you can, you can definitely, I mean, most of our programs you can run on four pieces of equipment or yeah. less, you know, as far Even as if you just had like uh, four sets of dumbbells or something, yeah, you know, like you'd be, you could do a lot of damage. With that. Oh, yeah. I could, I, I used to train sometimes. Well, I used to do this all the time because clients would love it. I would train clients with one pair of dumbbells or I'd train them with like a couple sets of bands. Today, yeah. our whole workout is going to be done with bands and they would get a phenomenal workout and they loved it because they could see that we could achieve so much with such minimal equipment. There's a huge myth with fitness, especially with resistance training, that you need all kinds of equipment. And that's because when you go into the gym, what do you see when you go to the weight area? Yeah, that's how they sell you on the membership. Right? You got so many pieces of equipment. Oh, there's the chest area. There's the back area. There's the, the shoulder area. Oh, cardio, you just need a bike. And then you can, the truth is, when it comes to resistance training, you don't need a lot of equipment. It's actually very inexpensive, and yeah. you could do everything. You could train everyone. And there's so much variety. Look, I tell you what, the... Arnold Schwarzenegger Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding. Okay, that's my my one of my favorite first, you know, exercise books. Ninety percent of the exercises in there are free weight, and there's like ten exercises per body part, all free weight based, all phenomenal. So that's pretty much all you Dude, need. Dude, I would get even crazier if you just threw me in the woods with an axe. Like, I'm, I'm going to town, <laughs> You're going to build dude. a house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chop it, you know, lifting rocks. That's all you need, man. Like Rocky from uh, Rocky IV? Yeah, exactly. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.